Hi everybody, um, sorry this is a pre-record um, today, um, I've got to go to the doctors, so um, I'll hopefully you'll enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be making um, Cedric the Cockerel Cushion um, from Lewis and Irene Fabric, hope you like it. So this is how the panel comes. Um, with all the um, colourful fabric around um, the edge of it um, you have to trace over these pieces um, the first one was done on interfacing um, this one I've traced all my pieces onto parchment paper and um, I cut them all out and I separate them into the colourways um, according to the pattern um, and um, then once I've done that, I pin them onto the fabric and cut them out. Now, I um, have uh, put interfacing onto the back of the fabric um, because it does just help to give it that bit of stability um, when I'm cutting them all out. Um, once I've done uh, that and got them all cut, it's then a case of placing them onto the fabric in the right places and pinning it all. Um, down where they should go. Um, so, as you can see, um, the green, that's greeny blue that's underneath, I had to cut that out off the interface and trace it because it was too big um, to um, do the other way. So I've got all my pieces and my colours cut out and pinned into place. Um, then, uh, once I've got that, it's then a case of um, zigzagging around all the pieces. Um, which is what I'm going to show you next. So here I am sat at the machine. Um, we've got my zigzag set up, and um, it's just a case of um, zigzagging around the pieces. Now um, I'm put my needle down as I'm turning the pieces round. Um, I'm never sure which side my needle's supposed to stop when I'm turning the piece of the fabric um, to make sure that I get the points in the right place. Um, so I just, um, as I'm working, work out which way it's supposed to go. Um, and I just continue in this way, sewing round. Now when I did my um, taster session um, for this, um, the tutor said, you leave your, uh, when you get finished sewing your zigzags, you pull your string, your cotton through to the back and tie them off. Um, but her machines didn't have um, the knotted, I can put a knot in my fabric uh, on my machine. I can press a button and it does a knot. Um, so that's what I've done. Now on this part where um, I've got all the pieces um, coming together in a point, I make sure that I've got them um, in the right position um, as I'm sewing them. Um, so um, when I position and sew them, as you can see, um, I'm holding down and getting them fixed. Now, obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but I think by the time it's finished, it won't be noticed that little bit. Um, I'm still, as I say, not great as to know which way the needle needs to be to finish it but I'll do the best I can. So there's the bottom part um, sewn. I'm now going to con just continue um, sewing as I go. Um, I'm working my way up um, the cockerel as I go um, to um, produce um, the final finished piece. So you can see on that part of the orange, um, my points aren't brilliant. They're not 100% accurate. Um, but um, that's be fine. Um, you won't notice it in, once it's at a distance on the, on the sofa. So carrying on up over the pieces, um, working my way to the top um, and around the face part, and working. And I will just work my way and come back round um, and to the bottom. Uh, leaving the eye for the to the for the last part of it, 
So there's the finished piece. Um, as you can see, it, it's looking fine. So now we're going to make it into um, a cushion cover. So and my zip is 16 inches long. So for my zip, I need to add tabs onto the ends, both ends of my zip to make sure that it's long enough to go across the bottom of the um, panel. Um, and I've done that on both both sides of the zip. And um, taking the bottom of my um, panel and my zipper face down, I'm going to work my way around, making sure that you have a needle down position when you manoeuvre to get around the zip. Um, and afterwards, I zigzag over the edge of the zip just to um, give the edge of the fabric a bit more um, security um, where it's um, where it tends to fray on the inside of the cushion. And once I've done that, I'm going to add the backing fabric to the other side of the zip and do the same again, zigzag um, over. Make sure that I leave my zip fully open when I've finished that part because uh, we're now going to join all the rest of it up and we need the opening to turn it through. So when it comes to the edge, I fold the bit of my um, zipper tab um, fold it down inside and sew all the way around and then zigzag all the way around over to, uh, to stop those edges from fraying. Um, once that's done, that's the cushion finished. Uh, he looks quite handsome, the Cedric the, the, uh, cockerel. So I hope you've enjoyed this video.